During Alan Cook's four years as managing director of the post office, more than 160 sub-postmasters were wrongfully convicted. I do solemnly, sincerely and truly, sincerely and truly. He told the public inquiry he was unaware and didn't even know the post office had the power to prosecute its own staff. I'd like to put on record most strongly uh, my personal apology and sympathies with all sub-postmasters, their families and those affected. But he was confronted with evidence that he once held a more cynical view of sub-postmasters or subbies. You go on to say, my instincts tell that mm. in a recession, subbies with their hand in the till choose to blame the technology when they are found to be short of cash. Why was your, your instinct to think that sub-postmasters who alleged that Horizon caused shortfalls were stealing from the post office? Well, that's an expression I'll regret for the rest of my life. So, you know, it was, it was an inappropriate thing to put in an email. Sammy Sabat wrote to Mr Cook multiple times for help after he was wrongfully charged and convicted of a fraud he didn't commit. It's unbelievable, unbelievable that you think that. It's obvious that obvious, they thought that all us supposed masters were thieves. Janet Skinner was also convicted and jailed while Alan Cook was in charge. And actually today, the 12th of April 2007, was the day that I was released from prison. Her lawyer asked him how that could have happened on his watch. Do you have anything by way of a personal direct apology that you would like to say to Mrs Skinner? I would. I would love to talk to her afterwards, but you may not want to. <laughs> but I, 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 I can only apologise on behalf of the whole organisation for the way that you were treated. It was disgraceful. This will be with you for the rest of your life. It will be with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I think they tend to pick and choose what they remember and what they do. He was well aware of what it was doing to people. And I think they just need to realise this is actual people who have destroyed people. It's not just about a computer system. Adam Crozier was chief executive of the post office's holding company, Royal Mail Group. He admitted the scandal amounted to a corporate failure. I think it is a matter of real regret that all of those checks and balances, the governance systems in both companies failed, as well as internal order, external order, all the checks and balances that were put in failed to surface this issue out of the post office to a wider set of people. Mr Kirk, did you really believe that the sub-postmasters had their hand in the tail slide? I've, uh, I've given my evidence. I've got nothing more to add today. The inquiry will continue to hear from senior post office and Royal Mail management next week. Paul Kelso, Sky News at the Post Office Inquiry.